What's a hill you're willing to die on every time? People are completely fine with immoral morally gray actions as long as it's someone they like doing it. Public libraries are undervalued by many. Radio stations should play more than 250 songs. Disagreeing is not a personal attack. Health insurance should cover the whole body. The fact that vision and dental are separate things is a pure cash grab. Repeal Citizen United. Nothing to discuss. Politicians should have to list where every freaking dollar comes from. Apologies mean nothing without changed behaviors. People getting on subways or elevators before letting people off. Makes no sense. I say my piece every time I see it. The kind of people who want power are the worst kind of people to have power. Power should be a responsibility, not a reward. Children beauty pageants are creepy as fuck and parents who subject their children to such scrutiny and judgment are crazy and don't deserve children. Ear candles are absolute snake oily bullshit. That 75 of the USA needs to retake an American government class. The fact that most people don't even know we have three branches of government baffles me. I'm a pirate historian and I can tell you for a fact that pirates never, ever buried any treasure. Keep the goddamn sponge out of the sink. Social media is bad for you. Using your children as content for social media is child exploitation. No one needs to care if others like hate the same things. Put pineapple on your pizza. Like sports team X. Stick a candle wherever it fits. If no one gets hurt, no one should care. Chris Brown is a piece of shit. No one should need to go into debt for their health. Public bathroom stall doors should go floor to ceiling. Unpaid internship are not good for students, a poor student can't afford the costs that go along with the internship. You can pry my Oxford comma from my cold, dead, and angry hands. It's not babysitting when a dad is watching their own children it is parenting. People who love you don't hit you. Also, you don't hit people animals you love. Children are legally required to be in school and often have to stay in the building during lunch. We should feed them healthy, nutritious food for free. Every single child. Edit thanks for the award please vote for representatives who will help children succeed. The egg came before the chicken. Medical debt should not be a thing in any civilized society. No one should have to choose either to have an operation or to live with pain and keep a roof over their head. The burden is on the vehicle merging onto the freeway to accommodate to the speed of the cars already on the freeway. I shouldn't have to slam on the brakes cause you're going 40 foot. Underwear then the socks. Crocs should not cost more than $20. If you could care less, that means you do actually care to some extent. Edit to clarify, I know the saying should be couldn't care less. But that's not what a lot of people say. Televangelists are nothing but false prophets. Zipper merge lane. It's every other car no matter what. Wanting to be childless or not even marry doesn't mean something is wrong with you. The one that Carl and Ellie always climbed in up looks like a good one for a last view. Term limits for every branch of government in the U.S. Equal pockets for women. Use a goddamn turn signal. Bonus wings are just nuggets. And that's fine, but don't charge me wing prices for nuggets spun in sauce. Nuclear power is the best middle step we can invest in to power us through building all the renewable energy. It provides great jobs, is exponentially cleaner than burning fossil fuels, and is safe when done properly. People who get extremely disappointed when they discover the gender of their unborn child aren't emotionally mature enough to raise a child. Hand shop first. 
my local hospital is on a hill, and I haven't moved yet so I guess I'm willing to die there. Tipping should go away. Restaurants should be responsible for paying their workers a living wage. Tangled is better than frozen. Freedom of speech does not mean complete freedom from consequences. You are free to voice absolutely any opinion you may have. Other people are free to challenge it, judge you, or even disown you for those words. The Oxford comma shouldn't be shunned in schools. I don't know, but Peter Gabriel made Salisbury Hill sound pretty nice. Don't lock your dogs up in the backyard all day every day. Dog face. Daylight savings time can fuck right off. Separation of church and state keep religion out of politics and decisions that affect everyone. The right to die should be universal. If you're against free school lunches for kids who need it, you're an asshole, period, full stop. Edit can you all stop trying to debate with me, I'm not changing my mind. If you don't mind children going hungry at a place they are legally required to be, you're a fucking asshole. For like three or four different reasons. I'm not responding to your comments. Getting compliments as a dad for normal parenting behavior. Yes, I can feed, bath and put to bed a nine, seven, and two-year-old. No I didn't need to call my wife for direction. No, the house didn't burn down. The praise you are heaping upon me doesn't make me feel good. It just makes me feel bad for you, your kids and your husband. Health insurance in the US is an enormous scam that arbitrarily inflates healthcare costs and we should burn it down in favor of public healthcare. Bring your cart back to the corral, there are a few exceptions to this, but typically the type of person who doesn't return their cart thinks the world revolves around them. School lunch should be free. The fruit of the loom logo had a cornucopia. All human beings, regardless of their morality, ethnicity, nationality, etc. deserve to have access to food, shelter and clean drinking water. Oxford comma every time it's clear, precise, and correct. Also, one space after a period for proportional fonts two spaces for monospace fonts. This is the way it is known. Semicolons should be used more often. We shouldn't have to work two minimum wage jobs to afford enough food to survive healthily. Education should be a right. Not a political bargaining chip. More importantly, not a business transaction. Dogs are not meant to be on a vegan diet. I used to work with a guy who was vegan and that's fine. But he made his dog eat vegan too and said he was the happiest dog ever. How could he know that? A dog will live on a vegan diet but will it thrive? Of all the weird things I put up with that guy, this was the one thing I couldn't accept. Knives go face down in the wash and spoons and forks go face up. Medicine should not be a for-profit business. Spay or neuter your damn dog. I'm so tired of seeing emaciated dogs, dead dogs, miserable, unwanted dogs, and litters of puppies with no one to care for them. Those of us who rescue dogs are trying really hard, but we can't keep up with the sheer numbers of dogs reproducing. Make it a priority to alter every single dog. People who mod their cars to sound obnoxiously loud or to roll coal did not get enough attention as a child. Separation of church and state. If a politician mentions any aspect of their religion when speaking about their running platform or in reference to their policies, they should not be allowed to run for office. Can't afford the vet, can't afford the pet. Edit clearing something up. Financial situations change and that's okay. My point is that if you in could afford the pet itself, but not medical care, you most likely shouldn't get one since it's one of the most important things you need to take in consideration when getting a pet. You don't need to have $20,000 saved up, that's not what I'm saying, but you should have some kind of emergency savings for sudden expenses to make them easier to handle financially. Teachers are underpaid. It makes no sense that Jack and Jill had to go up a hill to fetch a pail of water. Very poor city planning. 
the war on drugs is state terrorism to fill the prisons of non-violent drug offenders for prison slavery.